Okay, welcome to the first installment of our video blog where myself, Jason Cherkis, and Aaron Leiko will be debating local music, local music news, and new releases every week. So the first installment we're going to be talking about the, uh, the news that Orpheus Records in Clarendon is uh, slated to be closed. And uh, when I heard the news at first, I was quite sad because I thought that that store was, was actually pretty good, a little controversial at times. But uh, overall, a great store, and the owner there is super nice. Um, I can recall a long time ago I wrote a story quite negative about the local uh, record stores, slamming all of them. And I know uh, that the owner of that store was quite mad at me, very pissed, and would come. Uh, he wouldn't come. He would call up City Paper and complain about me all the time, which is not uncommon, but whatever. But I would still go to the store. He knew who I was and still offered me really great service, was super nice, um, and occasionally gave me a good deal. So, you know, I have to appreciate him for that, um, for letting his personal, putting his personal feelings aside and letting me buy records from his store. What do you think, Aaron? <coughs> I had not been to um, Orpheus Records in five years. That's a Jeez. fucking shame. It was a when was the story. last time you were into Orpheus? Well, a couple of years ago, but I mean... Yeah, I was the one to talk. Yeah. All right, well... All right, go ahead. I, um, no, I hadn't been there in five years. Um, they were an all-right store. It seemed like um, you would go to Orpheus, and at first glance, they would have nothing that you were looking for. You're kidding. But then you would ask them, and then they would go in the back and search, and they would be able to pull whatever it was out. Wow, because I found that any time I would go to that store, I've always found a great selection of new releases on vinyl, and a lot of the old stuff that they had, um, especially deep in the blues section, was pretty damn good. I what, was, what was the last record that you bought? The last record I bought there was probably a uh, Last Recordings of Lead Belly box set on vinyl for pretty cheap, and I remember the last time I probably went there was when I locked my keys in my car in front of the store, and he let me and my brother just hang out there for like an hour and a half. And just listen to records, hang out, flip through stuff, and he was just really cool about it. So, you know, I got nothing but great things to say about him, other than one thing, which is his incredibly complicated pricing scheme. Each record, I don't know if you guys all know about this, but each record was priced in a color-coded system. So it wasn't like, it was like green, purple, brown, and so you have to walk the record up to this chart and then pray that it was like the cheap color. And more often than not, it was not the cheap color, but he'd give you a good deal, so I'm okay with that. I always felt that perhaps maybe the the reissues were overpriced by a good ten dollars, but what are you gonna do? He's got a huge store in Arlington. What do you got to say? Fair enough. I did go back the other night to take advantage of the going out of business sale, where I found some cool things. I found um, medium mediums, uh, the the glitter house. Um, dance punk LP, early 80s, and um, Lungfish Sound in Time. Aaron, it doesn't seem like you really are going to mourn the death of Orpheus Records. I, I hadn't been there in five years, Jason. I guess it, it's sad that I won't be able to go out there and root through things anymore, but, um, you know. I, well, I admit I also haven't been there in a, a few years. But I will miss the opportunity to walk into that store to browse its records while I'm in Arlington, which I rarely go to because it sucks. But I will miss it. I will miss the opportunity to dig, up, dig out some old folk record or some Neil Young record I don't own on vinyl. So for that, it's a loss to me. And the owner was a really nice guy. And you'll never see another owner like that guy again. Long hair, finger-picking fingernails. You ain't going to see that again. All right, I'm Jason Cherkis, this is Aaron Lyko, and thanks for watching.